All right, it happens tomorrow. It's the 22nd annual Pets in the Park, Howerlick Park, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The walk, the run, all the events are going to have a flurry of activity. Hope to see you out there. Anybody that knows me knows I'm a huge sports fan, and it was an absolute pleasure when Len Rhodes, the president of the Edmonton Eskimos, stopped by the Edmonton Humane Society to chat with us. Len loves animals, especially dogs, that's apparent. And he's also our Grand Marshal for the walk coming up on Sunday. He was more than happy to get involved with the Edmonton Humane Society. You know, I have a passion for dogs, animals in general, but really something special when it comes to dogs. Ever since I'm a child, dogs are so meaningful to me and the role they've played in my life. You look at dogs and I think as human beings, we can all take away something from them in terms of their friendliness, their loyalty, they don't judge you, and on a bad day when you come home, nothing matches the feeling of coming home to that wagging tail, and they're greeting you at the door, and they're non-judgmental. You go outdoors with them, you walk, it allows you to just enjoy the universe. Being the head of a big football organization, we figured Len would have some lofty goals, and of course he did, and he's been doing very well reaching those goals. It's also been a very positive experience for the staff with the Eskimos. You know, when I started Pets in the Park, and was asked to be the marshal for the walk. First of all, that was the greatest honor I could have. I, as a community-owned team, the Edmonton Eskimos, and as president of the club, I attended 102 community engagements in 2013. But the one that's closest to my heart is the Edmonton Humane Society and the Pets in the Park walk specifically. So we started with an objective of $10,000. I didn't know if I should be targeting 5,000, 10,000, anything in between. We achieved 10,000, we surpassed it, we're at 12,000 as we speak right now, and I hope to uh, hit my revised target of $15,000. It's really positive in the sense that dogs really do unite people, and uh, I don't usually stand out for one cause or another. I do represent the Eskimos, and we try to be the community team that reaches out to a lot of people, but people really understand that it is close to my heart, and some that didn't know I was close to, to the animal side and dogs, realize it now and they understand that it's quite sincere it's genuine and it's my favorite uh, topic to uh, bring up in any conversation all right we know that len loves animals but he obviously loves football as well let's talk about the eskimos and the upcoming season so far so good in terms of the off season after a rough season last year in 2013 to be uh, very frank about it it was difficult in all of us sometimes you have to hit rock bottom to realize that uh, you have a problem and you've got to do some fixing in the off-season, we uh, brought in a new head coach. Chris Jones comes from Toronto, and uh, he, it's his first uh, head coaching job, and he stepped right into it. He fits well right in the Edmonton community, and his leadership is, is apparent immediately. He's brought in an entirely new coaching staff. They're all aligned. They're very focused. The tempo has never been faster for the players, but even the veterans are saying they never worked so hard in training camp, but they appreciate it because it's going to make the real game day conditions be that much easier. Outside of football, we've made major changes in Commonwealth Stadium. Last year, we completed the replacement of all the seats. Now there are 56,000 brand new seats, two inches wider, cup holders, and the feedback has been good. Going into this season, we made a number of changes. The Jumbotron screen has been replaced, upgraded, new sound system. We have field remediation where we squared the end zones. We had curved end zones since 1978. There was a player safety concern. We addressed that, squaring them off. Now the players can catch the ball, not worry about going immediately onto the concrete. We added new visitors locker rooms that have been revamped. So a lot going on and now new premium seating so our fans can come in the regular seats or if they want an upgrade with table service for food and beverages, we've got all that as well. Looking forward to a great season with the Eskimos this year. And of course, a fantastic day tomorrow. Pets in the park. Thanks to Len and all your fundraising efforts. He's our Grand Marshal for the walk. So if you're taking part, you're going to see him. And of course, ask him about the Eskimos and the year this year. We hope to see everybody out there. We're excited. It all happens tomorrow starting at 9 a.m. It's the 22nd annual Pets in the Park with the Edmonton Humane Society.